Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Honorable Chairman, my question will be on Kenyans working as domestic workers in the Middle East, and I want to focus in Saudi Arabia. And my reference will be the gravity of the reports concerning the mistreatment of Kenyans working there, ranging from denying of food, beaten to death, taken to jail, and unnecessary circumstances. Honorable Chairman, just recently, and I want to say thank you to you because you among those people assisted me together with the Cabinet Secretary, Prime Minister uh, Musalia Mudavadi, to bring the body of one of my electorates, a lady who was working in Saudi Arabia, travel with his employer to Egypt. And after two days, he died under unclear circumstances. It took us one and a half months to have the body brought to Nairobi, then transferred to Mombasa. Honorable Chairman, I know there have been some reforms regarding the same issues, but I'm feeling that somehow there's no law enforcement. And I believe there are what we call international labor standards or labor laws, and we also have those who are domestic. And most of the time you are talking about this issue, we are putting some reforms, but yet nothing has been done. Part of that case which I've just mentioned, it has written that the death of this lady is under investigation. And this is not the first time. I had another previous case some months back. It had the same report that it is under investigation. But after that, there is no feedback. There is nothing, and it's just like that, and no justice is achieved on that. So my question is, do we have some protocol where it should be followed in case of such uh, unfortunate happenings that the family maybe need to follow so that they, to ensure that they get the body at good time for as Muslim? You can imagine she was a Muslim, and she had to stay in mortuary for almost one month and a half for her to come back to Kenya. So I'm like, this is an area where we have to put some policies or rather some measures. And I know we have some impediment because some of the countries, maybe they're not subscribing to the United Nations and especially on universal human rights law. And that is why it became very difficult. We have been putting so many resolutions at the international level regarding this issue of human rights violation. But still these cases keep on happening each and every time. And yet we don't know. This family, they're just there, they get the body, nothing is being told to them, and sometimes even they don't get the belongings of that person. They just receive the body, and that is all. Some of them, they're denying their passport, the passports are confiscated. Some of them, they're rendered jobless, they had to go and sleep in the mosque and in the street in Saudi Arabia. So I think this is a matter which you really need to deal with. My second question... You can only do so if it's confirmed. Yeah, if you are confirmed, that is. And my second question is, I plan to address the challenges faced by online job seekers in Kenya, utilizing the Ajira platform which the government of Kenya Kwanza has initiated. But I know it has been marred by so many challenges uh, from digital infrastructure, especially in the rural area, lack of digital literacy, fraudulent job seekers. Job offers, I mean job offers, whereby our youth have lost millions and nothing has been done on that. What kind of intervention will you implement to tackle these challenges and ensure equitable access to online employment opportunity to all our Kenyans and more so protect them from these fraudulent offers? Thank on a light note, on a light note.